What's going on guys? In today's video, I have a Google My Business SEO tutorial. This is a little bit more of a advanced strategy that you can utilize for your website. And basically this strategy is going to revolve around utilizing location pages to help rank your Google My Business and your main website for those top positions. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna be going through a live example so that you guys can understand it better. But these are just some of the results that we've gotten so far. You can see air duct cleaning near me in the three mile radius. Um, this is the result so far. Um, air duct cleaning company, two mile radius, same thing. Um, air duct cleaning, that's a two mile radius. Here's a four mile radius of air duct cleaning. And just so you guys can see a before and after. Um, seven by seven, two mile radius. Um, so you can see that before, and this is about a month after, right? So you can see I'm not changing the radius or anything like that. Um, everything is legit. So let's get right into the example, guys. Um, so this is basically the layout of how you want to make sure you structure your website. And this strategy is going to work um, better for those harder competition areas. You don't always have to um, utilize this strategy, but it is going to help push up your location pages and your Google My Business. And not only that, but I've also seen it actually push out the proximity um, on the Google My Business a little bit. So that's always a plus when you're optimizing your website and your Google My Business. But basically the strategy is you're always going to have your home about services um, and then locations, right? Now this is going to be if you're a service area or service type business. So if you actually go to, to someone's home to perform the actual service, or if you go to commercial properties to perform the service, this is going to be a great um, strategy for those type of businesses, right? Not so much for an actual storefront, because this is basically you're trying to target all of the surrounding cities or neighborhoods from your immediate location. So you wanna have a locations page or a locations tab in the main menu, and then you wanna silo out all of the different cities, right? So for this example, I only did one city, but you know, on the real site, you wanna have, you know, city one, city two, city three, you know, as many cities that you wanna target around your immediate area is basically what you wanna do. But we take this a step further and we create service pages for each one of those cities. So you can see, so for an example, city one, this would be your main page here. And then you're going to have these three service pages linking to that one city page, right? So let's say your city page is targeting roofing. So let's say it's roofing Dallas. You would have your city one service page would be residential roofing Dallas, commercial roofing Dallas, roof repair Dallas, right? you're creating the sub pages within that city. And I'm gonna be taking you through a live example. Um, and then lastly, we wanna hit each one of these city service pages with a guest post. So one guest post to one page, one guest post to one page. Um, and this is really if you're in a little bit more competition, higher competition areas, because it's really going to give you that push. Um, but basically, let me show you a live example. Um, so here we have an air duct cleaning client of ours. And basically we went ahead and you can see under the service area, we have all of these city pages, right? Um, and we actually went ahead and for the grapevine location. So if we take a look at grapevine here, um, you can see the ranking number three here in the map pack as a service area business. And then they're also ranking number one here organically, right? Um, and not only that, but over here in Capel, they're actually ranking number one in the Google Maps. So you can see that this strategy is working very well. Um, but basically, if we go back here, this is our city page, right? So this page targeting Grapevine, Texas, this would be our city one page right here under locations. So we have this main page here, which is targeting air duct cleaning in Grapevine. We have this optimized, obviously, for our main keyword. We do all of our normal on-page stuff. But if we go down here, you can see our services 
where it says air duct cleaning, air duct inspection, air duct sanitizing. So all of these pages are also targeting Grapevine specifically. So if we go to air duct inspection and we open that up, this page is just targeting Grapevine Texas, right? When our main page, so if we go to the home page, our main home page is targeting Dallas, right? So our main page is targeting Dallas, and then our main service pages are targeting Dallas, which um, of course is the biggest city in the immediate area, but that doesn't mean we don't wanna target all of the suburbs, right? Because that's a lot of traffic that you could be losing out on. And that's why we went ahead and created this page for Grapevine. And then we have all of these sub service pages also targeting Grapevine and they're all linking together. So these all these pages are also targeting Grapevine and they're all linking to this main page, passing up all of that relevancy and all of that uh, link juice that we're throwing at those service pages. So that's an example of how you can utilize this strategy. And you can do this same strategy for as many service pages or I mean city pages that you want. Um, but like I said, I would do this for more competitive areas or if you um, feel like you could uh, gain a competitive advantage in terms of your Google My Business, I would also go ahead and utilize this strategy. One thing you do want to make sure you do is from your uh, city pages, you want to make sure you're also linking out to your Google My Business using an exact uh, exact match anchor text, right? So if you're targeting air duct cleaning, you want to link out to your Google My Business from your main website using that anchor text air duct cleaning, and then boom, link it, link it to your Google My Business. And it's going to allow you to push out your proximity um, as much as you can, right? Um, but that's the basis of this strategy. Um, I know it's a little bit more advanced, but I wanted to show you guys because it is working very well. Um, so you guys can also implement it for your own website. So let me know if you have any questions, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.